is New York Nightly News with Chuck Scarborough, live on New York Nonstop. Every tennis fan knows what's going on in Queens this week. The U.S. Open is underway, and it's not only one of the biggest annual sporting events in the city, it's also one of the city's biggest money makers, generating millions of dollars in revenue. Here to tell us more about it is Bruce Levine of Tennis Magazine and general manager of the Courtside Racket Club in Clinton, New Jersey. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Real quick, more than half of U.S. Open revenue comes from big corporate sponsorships, of course, but will the dollars be there this year given the economy? Well, I think the dollars came in a little bit slower this year. Um, a lot of the contracts are long-term contracts that have been in force. I think going forward, there's some things to be concerned about. The Grand Slams actually are doing very, very well. You know, Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, French Open, the Australian Open. But I think we've seen that the smaller tournaments are having much more trouble. Why is the U.S. Open the gold mine? Well, it generates for the city $450 million. Wow in revenue just for New York City alone between hotels and food and beverage, tax dollars, et cetera, et cetera. And the tournament itself makes 208 million, roughly. Um, it's a big gold mine because there's so many sessions, there's 26 sessions, which involves a lot of people coming and going um, in the spectator side, plus the sponsorship dollars and corporate dollars are big. Tell us this, why do giants like Nike and Lacoste spend millions on sponsorship when tennis apparel is a small portion of their product line? The simple answer is the big bang for the buck. If you watch Wimbledon or you watch a long match at the U.S. Open, you know, someone like Adidas or Head or Prince or Wilson, those guys are on TV for sometimes five hours straight. Um, you've captured the audience quite clearly because everybody's involved in the game, and that logo's out there and it's there for a long time. This is the uh, obvious question, but if you can answer it anyway, why do many of the big stars of tennis earn more sponsorship dollars, of course, than they do in tour earnings? Just like me. <laughs> no, um, I think it's for the same reason that, you know, the, the brands can allocate that money because of the amount of time that, that they're getting that athlete on TV for. Um, you know, again, the exposure is so big. And there's also good crossover. Some of these athletes are very big public figures, and they get the extra time with them that way also. A lot of people are starting to take part in tennis, but it's grown, what, 40% since 2000? Actually, 43%. Wow. Yeah, it's up 43%. I think, believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's the fastest growing sport out there. Why? Um, I have to give some kudos to the USTA. They've done a great job in promoting the game. Uh, there's a program called Quick Start Tennis, which is for the youngsters. Okay. And it's provided them with a great opportunity to use small rackets on small courts. The success level is great. The enjoyment level is much higher, and kids continue to play longer. Um, it's just a great game. I think also the health and fitness aspect of it is very good. The amount of time it takes to play tennis versus what it is to play golf. You know, you're looking at maybe 90 minutes versus five hours on the golf course. So it's, it's a lot of fun. All right, thank you so much once again for joining us. My pleasure, thank All you. All right, now with a look at the other big news of the day.